Hi, I'm Dale Muzzy. I lead the research and development team at Myriad Genetics, and I'm here to talk to you about DNA. In nearly all living things, including humans, the genetic blueprint is made of DNA, which is a string of tiny molecular building blocks made up of the letters A, C, G, and T. The order of these blocks encodes important instructions for our cells and our bodies, controlling things like whether to make your hair curly, how tall you'll be, and whether you're predisposed to a genetic disease like cancer. Each one of us has six billion building blocks of DNA, and altogether we call that group of letters our genome. To get some perspective of just how remarkably vast the genome is, think of it this way. If you printed out each block of DNA on a separate sheet of paper and stacked them on top of each other, that stack of paper would not only be taller than Mount Everest, but it'd be as tall as 35 Mount Everests stacked on top of each other. Yeah, the genome is a big place. One of my favorite things about DNA is that it shows how closely related we all are. When it comes to our DNA, all humans are 99.9% .9 identical. We have a lot in common. However, it's the 0.1% that makes us unique. We call these differences genetic variants. Let's go into the lab to learn a little more about what genetic variants are and what they do. We can understand the impact of genetic variants by considering the role of DNA in the cell. From the DNA blueprint, the cell can create a gigantic variety of microscopic objects called proteins that perform activities in the cell. A protein that serves a function in your cells is like an object that serves a function in your home. For instance, you may have a blender to make food, a sink faucet to control the flow of water, and a flashlight to illuminate dark places, like this one. Since I can't take you into the cell to see proteins, let's pretend that these DNA letters encode a portion of this flashlight. We're going to look at the impact of three different genetic variants. Let's consider a first genetic variant that changes an A to a T. Even though this has changed the genome sequence, it may actually have no impact at all on the protein encoded. So the flashlight is identical and still works perfectly fine. Many of the genetic variants that we carry do not have a negative impact on the function of the proteins they encode. Now let's look at a second variant that changes a T to a C. This variant might change the color of the casing of the flashlight, but the flashlight itself still functions perfectly well. Now let's add a final variant where we insert a G. This variant is actually problematic for the protein and may remove an entire necessary part of it. Sort of like removing the batteries from the flashlight. And of course, a variant that significant will prevent the flashlight from functioning. You can imagine other variants that break the flashlight too, including those that disable the button or remove the bulb. All of these would compromise the function of the flashlight. The key take home is that the sequence of your DNA is important because it impacts the objects that your cells produce, which can ultimately impact your personal health. At Myriad Genetics, we make genetic tests that identify variants in people's DNA. These variants may impact their own health and the health of others in their families. Thanks for watching. I hope this sheds some light on how powerful DNA is.